What's up? I'm at work. Thursday Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> We've been rolling with that now? Yeah, yeah, I think we're rolling with Thursday that. Thursday Thunder. Thursday Thunder. You gotta do it more theatrical though, like, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, we'll have to get some music put on there, you know, like some fresh music at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday Thunder. What well, are we talking about today? Well, good thing it is Thursday. Yes. We've been doing them on Friday every now and then. That's right. All right anyway. Um... Friday Frenzy. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Okay. All right. What are we talking about today? We've got, I've got no list. Sometimes winging it's the best. Yeah, yeah. It's been one of those weeks, though. We've had all sorts of... The gym's getting busier. Gym's getting busier. Thanks to everyone for joining. If Continue you're, to getting busier. Yeah, if, yeah. You're, if you're in this area, come check out Australian Muscle Gym, 130 Bridge Road in Paraka. Or if you're interstate and you happen to watch this and you come to Adelaide, come check out the gym. It's awesome. Check out the gym. We'll give you a free workout. Yeah. yeah. Just mention... Well, just come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so a lot of a lot of this week when you come in, you're like, oh, this person at the shop, they just didn't get it. Yes, yeah. Look, all right, we'll talk about a couple of things. One, the most asked question at the shop. Yeah, at the shop, pretty well. Yeah, yeah. This would be is like, what's the best protein powder? What is the best protein? What's powder? the best protein powder? Now, what is the best protein powder, Sam? You're right. Yeah. The one that I like. Well, yeah. Look, it's. <laughs> In, if, essentially, all the protein powders are the same. Yeah. Doesn't matter what the guy behind the shop is telling you. You know, if you are getting one that is just a whey blend, well, it doesn't matter whose it is, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same whey blend. It's going to be around about 75 to 85 percent protein. It's going to be pretty well exactly the same thing in a different color type. There's no such thing as the best protein powder. If there was, I'd fill my shop up with the best protein powder and wouldn't stock anything else because they're, they're, they're no good. You wouldn't need anything else. No. You'd no. only need just the so best. The best protein powder is the one, and we've talked this about, the one that suits you the most. Yeah. If you need one with more calories, it's going to have more carbs in it. If you need one that's got no calories, well, then you just want a WPI. If you're lactose intolerant, well, then you want the purest hydrolyzed WPI, etc., etc. Yeah. It's the one that suits you for what you're trying to do. Yeah. And in the end, it's about going around, finding the, trying different protein powders until you find the one that you like. Yeah. Taste-wise, texture-wise, I've got my favorites. Yeah. I've got others that I might even, I even sell, but I don't use them because I just don't like that particular flavor or whatever. But that doesn't mean it's a bad protein powder. Exactly. It's still a great protein powder. I just don't like it. Yep. Well, everyone's, so, everyone's got different preferences. Everyone's the difference. Exactly right. It's like and and flavours, we will never sell you a, a protein powder saying that this is the best tasting protein powder on earth. Because you might take it home, and then have like, a sip of it, and think it tastes like crap, and then say, well, you know, Kim's a liar, and Aussie must, we said this tastes great. Yeah. That's because everyone's tastes are personal. Exactly, and smells, and everything. Exactly right. So you just got to try different ones, unfortunately. If you can get a sample, like, well, that's I like great. The, I like the colour blue. That doesn't mean that the colour blue is the best fucking colour. It's just No, because red is. Well, there you go. Yeah. Same with protein powder. Exactly right. So just, just bear that in mind, that when you go into a shop, so you like red? The people, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just ordered a lever belt red. Oh, sweet. Yeah. We'll know, we'll know which one I was like. Yeah. So, yeah, so just bear that in mind. If, if someone's trying to sell you the best powder, you know, well, it's just a selling point. Mm -hmm. You know, um, it's what suits you. They're all good. No, Nobody goes out, you know, there's no supplement companies They have their meeting and go, all right, guys, the, Let's make the shittiest protein powder out there. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't. They all make their protein powders for what they are for a reason, which they think is the reason that they think suits the, it the best. Yep. Yeah. You know. On one note, though, I think there is one thing to, to keep an eye out on. If you have, say, five different WPIs, they're all within $5, and then there's one WPI here at the end, same size, everything else that's $20 cheaper, then I'd be sus. Mm. You know, because I know how much good quality WPI costs, and if someone tries to sell me one that's really, really cheap, well, then I'll get suspicious. Mm -hmm. You know, cheap is cheap for a reason, always. Taking aside sales and sale prices, if there's one product or some product that is really, really incredibly cheap, there's a reason why it's really, really incredibly cheap. Mm. You know, it's like there's a reason why Hyundai's cost $15,000 and a top of the line Merck is $250,000. Well, you're paying for quality. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's incredible it. quality. Yes. And and that's is one difference with supplements. And, but you'll find out in in most shops, you know, the ways are all the same price. The WPI is pretty well all the same price. Yeah. You know, it's online. You'll see these no-name brands which are incredibly cheap. You know, I, I don't know. I'd be sus about them. They're mixed in the bathtub in someone's house. <laughs> all right. The other thing that we get asked about a lot, and I went through this yesterday with a customer for yeah. a long time, was like, what's the highest calorie weight gainer you got, buddy? This guy came in. Yeah. Now, my answer to him straight away was that, well, they're all the same. And he goes, oh, well, no, they're not, because this one here says it's 2,000 calories per serve, and this is 1,000 calories per serve. But in the end, it was all, it's all about the serving size. Yeah. Because they are all the same. Protein powder, and even weight gainers have got the same calorie value per gram. Yes. All right, so protein and carbohydrates, four calories per gram. Yes. Fat, nine calories per gram. Yes. We'll take fat out of the equation here, all right? Because it'll confuse. Yeah, oh. so no fat, yeah. all right? So, all right, I've got a weight gainer here. Gentech, um, Gentech weight gainer, ProMass, excellent weight gainer, all right? We'll put 100 of grams of that into this jar. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's 100 grams in here. Now assume it, this is just protein and carbs, nothing else. Yep. All right, then we've got ourselves a WPI. Straight WPI. <coughs> Show you there. Then Gentech. So we will put 100 grams in there. Yep. So we've got 100 grams of WPI in this shaker. We've got 100 grams of the weight gainer in this one. Assuming there is nothing else but protein and carbs in that one, and nothing but protein in here, right? What has got the most calories? Wait, I'll just give them a second to answer this themselves in their head. Yeah, so which one would have the most calories? All right, now the guy at the shop said- Trick question. The guy at the shop goes, the weight gainer. And I said, no, no, they both got the same amount of calories. Yes. They both got 400 grams, 400 calories, Right, 100 grams by four, ca four calories per gram. Yeah. All right, so they both got 400 calories. The only difference is the calories from here are from 60% carbohydrates, yep. so 60 grams of carbs, 40 grams of protein. Yep. This is 100 grams of protein. Yeah. You just wouldn't have 100 grams of protein though. No. So that's the difference. So that's why weight gainers, and so, all of them are the same. Yeah. It's, it's only, the reason this one has 3,000 calories is because its serving size is most probably 350 grams. Uh -huh. And the other one will have a 100 gram serve. So it's gonna be only 400 calories. Mm. So just bear that in mind. Yes. Yes. You want more calories out of your weight gainer? Freaking hell, have more weight gainer. Yeah. Have a bigger serve. You yeah, know? pretty much. It's, it's pretty that simple, you know? All right, another one that came in, and we get asked a lot. What's the lowest calorie protein powder? Oh. And again. It, Another trick question. Well, yeah, well, well, it's not. This girl came in and said, listen, I've been using um, protein powder, this one here, protein A, you know. Uh, my trainer said I should use protein B because it's got um, less calories. It's only got 100 calories per serve versus 120 calories per serve. Right? Yeah. Well, in the end, they both got the same amount of calories. It's just that protein A had a 40 gram serving size and protein B had a um, 30 gram serving size. Yeah. So that's it. If someone again tries to sell you a protein powder that has got, oh, this is the lowest calorie protein powder per serve. Well, it's only because the serving size is freaking tiny. Yeah. I could turn around and make a protein powder that's, you know, this has only got 50 calories per serve. You're only gonna have a 10 gram, 15 gram serve. Yeah. Or whatever, you know, so. It's a bit yeah. yeah. <laughs> So that's it, you know. Mother Nature has determined the calorie value of food. Supplement companies cannot alter it. They cannot change it, all right? So it's all pretty well the same stuff in different color containers. Don't fret yourself. Yeah. Find one that you like, you like the taste of. You like the color suits of the Suits you for what you are trying to achieve and your body type, mm -hmm. and you're right. You know, mm. I've got, five or six different protein powders that I use because I just like the taste of it. Yeah. Next time I'm gonna use this one because I like their banana. I'm gonna use this one because I like their caramel and so forth. Yeah. So don't fret yourself.
people get so confused and I think the problem is started by supplement companies but perpetuated by supplement store owners mm. trying to sell their brand or the one that makes them the most margin. Yep. Very good call. You know, so yeah, that was it took an hour of explaining to that guy yesterday. Damn. <laughs> but he finally got it. He finally got it. Did he? I think so. <laughs> I hope so. You know, you're still gonna get this question a shitload. Oh, we we get it all the time. But that's that's it, you know, and it's 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 pretty simple if you just think about it that four calories per gram, it's gonna be the same, doesn't matter which one you put in. Mm. What grinds your gears? Well, not a lot gets to me, except for that one time that that kid came in here asking for steroids behind the counter. Just came off the street, was like 15 years old, he's like, yeah, uh, I want to start going to a gym, can I buy steroids here? And I'll, <laughs> I was in the middle of a workout, and I'm like, what? I, I got pretty annoyed, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Just that, like the blatant, that he was able to just walk into the gym. Just assuming that he just assume that in and yeah. get him off of the But that's what he's getting counter, like. like. Yeah, you know, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I've been in this industry for thirty years, and look, we could go on about drug use for as long oh. as you like, and that's a, your own personal opinion. But it's, I think people are just now they don't want to work hard. Yes. Nobody wants to work hard. Nobody wants to put the hard yards in. Mm. You know, I, I think, and it's. I was talking about this with Jason at Sourceby this morning. How our society now, nobody sees value in anything. No. In anything, you know? Can you do a better price? Can you throw a free shake in when you're rah, 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 you know? And there's no value in anything. This, you know, and I think even with training, there's, there's, there's value in training more though than just building, building, you know, a good body. Exactly. Yeah, you know, and looking for the shortcut, especially when you first start, oh. I think you're, you're, no, you're not gonna get any it, value out of your training. Building a so, terrible foundation. Yeah. Do some work. Do some work. It's, it's actually fun training. Well, that's the thing. I don't think people. I know people that come in, and I can tell that they actually don't like training. Yeah. But they're training because they think they have to or something. No? Mm. You and I, you've seen what? How my training. I love training at the moment. I yeah. have a day off, and it's like I can't wait to get back to the gym. Mm. Yeah. You know? So, learn to love your training, and learn that it's going to take a while. Yeah. And the. The hard yards that you put in is going to, I think, teach you more value than any shortcut. Yeah. Well, I, I think it was a while ago last year, I had a member that joined up. He was only here for like two months and then he quit. He's like, oh, I wasn't getting any results. That's right. Yeah. And I was like, you, it, d- it takes a bit longer than two months, mm-hmm. man. Just keep keep coming. Keep keep doing it. So That's I was, right. it was disappointing. Cause yeah, it is disappointing because people think it's, it's an overnight thing, you know? Yeah. I've been training... I've been training for more than half my life now. You know? It's just because I love, I love training. Mm. You know, there's nothing better than hitting the iron after a day of working or dealing, yeah. dealing with and your, funny the, questions. And the, <laughs> the type of training you've done has always changed, right? So That's like, right. Your workout now is completely different to when you were, you know, yes. 20 years ago. Exactly right. Yep. So always, always learning, always trying to find new things with your training so that you keep enjoying training. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Change it up. Change it up. Change it up everywhere. Nutrition, training, everything. Mm. Keep changing it, and that'll keep you wanting to um, keep coming back to the gym. Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. As I long think. as like almost 14 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, well, time, yeah, people lose interest. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, just remember that. You know, a calorie uh, value is determined by Mother Nature, not by supplement companies. Yes. So they're all the same. Four calories per gram of protein and four calories per gram of carb. That's right. Yeah. Nine calories in the gram of fat. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why even some weight gainers, they'll add fats in like MCT oils and things like that. Yeah. Because it bumps up your calories. Mm. Um, so be aware. Yeah. So be aware. But that that's what they're designed for. They're designed to give you lots of calories. Mm-hmm. Doesn't make them a bad power. Like somebody actually said the other day, oh, these, these weight gainers, they're just crap. You know, they're just full of calories and nothing else and I'm there but that's what they're designed for yeah yeah nobody's hiding the fact or misleading yeah, no. anybody that's what they're designed for to give you a lot of calories some people need a mountain of calories just to maintain body weight or put on a little bit of body weight. everyone's metabolism is different exactly right me I turn into a beach guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right that's it good 
Thursday Dunder, Dunder Done. <laughs> Thursday Thunder. <laughs> if you have any questions, send them in and we'll answer them next week. No worries. Cool. Have See you later, everyone. Great day, Stumble. Don't be not.